Hi guys, this is Mama Le Bobs and welcome to another No Man's Sky video. Today I'm going to be showing you five strange planets that I found across my travels in No Man's Sky. If you enjoy, please like, subscribe and hit that bell. Let's get into the video. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, going to the planet, showing you around and then I'm going to be showing you the coordinates to find it. Make sure you're in the Euclid galaxy because it won't work if you're not. If you're not in the Euclid galaxy, a quick way you can do is this. So if you're trying to get to the UK Galaxy and you're not currently there, all you have to do is go to the Space Anomaly. Go up to where Nada and Polo are. Take a left. And you should see this guy next to this massive portal. And what you can do is that the galaxy, you can activate this portal and go to any other place. And if it says Euclid Galaxy on it, or for my example, because I'm in the Euclid Galaxy, I won't say it, but this one says Calypso Galaxy. It should say Euclid Galaxy if you're not in it currently. Now you're in the Euclid Galaxy, go to a portal and get the coordinates. Here are the coordinates for the first planet. Okay, now you just need to enter them into the portal. I'm already at this planet to save time, so let me show you around. First off, this planet has really small rocks in, and it's very weird because it's got these glowing plants all over it, and it looks like little life forms all like scattered around. Next, there seems to be these dust clouds hanging around also. This is probably the least strange planet on this list, but it's still quite a strange one. I mean, some of the uh, some of the flora on this planet is really weird. I mean, this isn't even a plant, this is a mineral. So yeah, this planet is quite weird, but we're going to get a lot weirder next. Okay, so that's it for this first planet. What we need to do is go to the second planet. Okay, so this planet has a slightly slightly faded feel to it. As as you can see, my visor is usually quite a bright red, but it's quite faded this time. It's, it's very steamy on this planet, and it's always raining. But as you can see, like, look at that. It looks like one of those stalactites you find in, like, caves, but it's, like, not nothing connected to them. It's like it's meant to be upside down. There's these some weird flying worms in the air too. And look at that. This is so weird. It's like it's the wrong way round. Another strange thing about this planet is the weird fauna it has. Like what is that? And look at these things, they look like little crabs, but like they're so much bigger. Another weird thing about this planet is that the sea is red, and it's full of these massive chunks of crystal sulfide. So yeah, this one's a lot weirder than I thought, but it's, it's crazy. Another bonus to this is that there's no sentinels. However, if you don't like it raining all the time and you would prefer like a nice view, this next planet will be a lot better for you. Here we are at the next planet. This planet is a lot more bright than the other one. It's not faded as you can see my visor and my cape is quite bright. But the strange thing about this planet is that it's a yellow sky at night time. Another weird thing is the weird rocks that form here. Like look at that and this glowy thing. I just look at that view, it's really really cool. Sunsets are my favourite because they glow all like that, but night time is also really impressive. This planet for some reason doesn't have any animals or plants, and it's a redacted planet. This, this is probably why it's so mad. 
as you can see, there's only one that can be discovered. And it's always active at ground. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, it's a stick. Let's go. Here it is. So it's one of these ones. I don't even know if you can have these as a pet. Ooh, hexaberries. Uh, yeah. Wow. So yeah, this planet's also a really weird one. This one also doesn't have sentinels, which is also weird. Off we go to the next planet. Here we are at the fourth planet, and in my opinion, this is the strangest one of all. As you can see, the colours that are here are flipped. Blue turns to red, and everything else is just grey. So, this is daytime, and it's so faded. The flora on this planet is absolutely amazing. Have a look. Let's get up and close with one of them. As you can see, you can't really go on them because this planet is so broken. Look at this, I'm just literally standing on nothing and it thinks I'm on the plant. This planet also has no sentinels in. This is getting kind of weird now. Let's take a look at this planet at night time. Whoa, what happened to my cape? Okay, this is it at night time and it looks even more impressive. You can see all the stars in the sky and there's always these clouds out like making it all ominous and it's super strange but i like it i might make a base here and you guys should too right now we need to go to our last planet and this planet is also extremely weird Okay, here we are at the last planet. As you can see, the giant worms, which makes this planet even cooler than it is. This planet has no tall fauna at all, apart from these weird eggs. They simultaneously glow at the same time, which is really cool. And it also has these weird dusts all around. The worms were the best part of the planet, but another part is how faded this planet is too. Instead of blue or red, this one turned into a, a very light, almost yellow. And these dust particles are floating around all the time, which makes it really weird. In the daytime, it's not much different apart from how the uh, dust is gone and the void egg things aren't glowing as much. But there's this weird rainbowish irradiated colour about it too. Also the fauna on this planet is crazy, almost like the second planet. And the waters are grey. Once again there are no sentinels, which is also really weird. What are the chances of not getting any sentinels on all of these planets? Now let's head back to the original planet. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to smash that subscribe.